Hello and welcome to another edition of Transform Tuesday. I'm Dave McCormick, VP of Product Management here at Alpha Software. And I'm joined today by Sarah Mitchell, our Director of Customer Success. Today's session, um, unlike last week's session, was a bit more advanced. Today's is going to be a bit more basic. And the reason is because we have a new influx of people signing up for Alpha Transform, which is terrific. And the mission of our Transform Tuesdays is to provide education to people of all levels and also to have a place where you can ask questions uh, live about anything related to Alpha Transform. Don't forget, you can also send questions always to tfservice at alphasoftware.com. Before we get started, Sarah, I just want to make sure that you can hear me and that you can see my screen. I can. Awesome. Thanks very much. So, you know, I realize now Alpha Transform has been in development now for about four years or so. And during that time, an awful lot of stuff has been added. So as I was putting together this course for newbies, I kept coming across things saying, you know what, I don't think I've necessarily ever explained this or in a webinar, or I've certainly never explained it in a webinar aimed at new people. So today we're going to take a run at it from the beginning, and you may actually see a feature or two, even if you have a lot of experience with Alpha Transform, uh, that you didn't know about, but could be of use to you. So let's start right at the beginning and ask the question, what is Transform? So Transform is a system that is typically used uh, in the field by people who uh, perform some sort of field service or collect data. Um, they're people whose job it is to not be sitting at a desk most of the time, but actually to be walking around and doing something. And my little example here, I have an electrician but this could also be an environmental engineer, it could be a doctor, it could be anyone who walks around and collects data. Uh, we have all kinds of applications that have to do with home inspection, uh, we have uh, manufacturing examples, and so on. And basically, people who walk around, uh, who used to fill in data on clipboards, like this, this person here is doing, uh, are now using software to do it, are now using mobile phones and tablets. And the reason is because they can get the information um, there's no double keying. The information is entered much more quickly. It goes directly into the system where it can be acted on. Uh, it doesn't get lost. It doesn't get miskeyed. Uh, if an error appears, there's error checking. There's all kinds of things that you can do with an electronic system. And that's I'm not here to sell you on the value of digital transformation, but it really is absolutely huge. Now, Transform takes this data, and it has a mobile app, and it um, collects it into a database where you can use it to build out uh, for example, dashboards, kind of like this icon, dashboard icon that I have here. You can also use it to export the records and you can tie it into other systems. So that's what it's basically used for. It's used for assigning uh, tickets or collecting data. Uh, it's used for people out in the field and it's used for people in the back office to take a look at that data and to actually to communicate back to the workers who are then out in the field. So I kind of explained what you do with it, but I didn't exactly explain what it is. So let's get a little deeper into that. What it is, is it is basically at its heart, a mobile phone app where people in the field collect data or get assigned tickets so that they know what they need to work on next. And it's also a website that we call Transform Central. This is where these forms or these applications can be designed, users can be managed, data can be evaluated, and you can take a look at the data in dashboards, export it, uh, and do all kinds of other cool things with it. Now, those are really the big two pieces, but there's one piece that I'd like to show you, which is the API piece. Oops. And the API uh, is, I just want to talk about it quickly. I'm not going to show it to you today. But the API lets you do everything that you can do in those two things, in both in the website and in the mobile app. So it can submit data, it can manage users, it can it has lots of control. So any kind of system that you have already in place, you can integrate Transform in a really deep and powerful ways. So I just want to make sure that, that I got that one point across about the API, because it's probably the last time I'm going to be talking about it during this presentation. OK, so let's move on. Let's take a look at the mobile phone application. The mobile phone application is available both on Google Play and in the Apple App Store. And to find it, just do a search for Alpha Transform. So here it is. This is what the logo looks like in the store. If you see something that says Evil Mutant Robot or something like that, that's not it. This is, this is the one to get. And let me show you what it's like once you've installed it. 
Now I'm going to open this up here on my phone. And I'm going to show you. Whoops. Hang on one moment. I just need to switch Wi Fi networks. Okay. Bear with me. I'm using a piece of software called Aircast, which often works very well. Um, okay, so I, but you need to be on the same network, the phone and the computer. So, all right, I've got that set up. Let's do a quick screen mirroring. Sorry about that. I must have switched network connections while I wasn't looking. Okay, it looks like it's just about to load. That's good. Very nice. Let's grab transform, transform, open that up. And in a moment, it should catch up. Ah, oh, there we are, great. So when you first open up Alpha Transform, the app, that's just after you see the logo, you're gonna see this screen where you log into your account. But if you don't have an account yet and you wanna see what Transform is like, we have this button called Try a Demo Account. And if you're new, I really suggest uh, tapping on that, which I'm gonna do here. Tapping on it logs you into a demo account and it pretends to check a username and password. It sort of gives you the experiences if you had a real account. And it downloads a couple of forms, which you could think of as mini apps from the server. And here they appear. Okay, so the first one you have is called Start Here. And that is the one, I'll, I'll point here with my mouse and I'll tap it on my phone with my finger. And this actually gives you the directions and sort of shows you all the different parts of Transform. Oh, it looks like my screen is not updating yet, so I'm gonna go a little bit more slowly. Here it shows you the list of forms and how it works and how to search for forms, um, how to perform multiple actions on multiple forms, how to create new forms and so on. And there's a lot of stuff here. Think of it as just like a little quick, I don't know, uh, getting started guide, if you will, but without any real examples, just, just shows you how uh, the interface works. If you don't use this, you'll probably still figure out how the interface works. Wow, my connection here is slow. I should have gone to a different screen already. Apologize for that. So I'm going to pop over to the Welcome to Transform form that comes as part of the demo. We'll go here. And here it gives you examples of things that you can do. Now, I won't waste your time by typing in text fields and number fields. You guys have probably seen that kind of stuff before. But we do have some more advanced types of data types. For example, we have the signature data type, which allows me to sign my name, for example, and capture that on a form. I can take pictures as well. And I'll take a picture of my own computer. Let's use that photo. You can annotate those pictures as well, and it can actually capture the location of my GPS. Oops, let's use a, let's say I want to circle something. There we go. And I can grab my GPS location. And it actually can take a little while if you want it to be perfectly accurate, but if you don't need it to be perfectly accurate, well, that's actually pretty close. Um, you can actually skip off that screen. It lets you collect barcode uh, information, lets you um, divide up your form into pages. So you can have very, very long forms. For example, the, here's a page, and then that page has got sub pages and next pages and, and all kinds of other controls under it. Oops, went too far. Um, then we show that you could perform calculations, you could do conditional logic. So if you answer a question one way, then, you know, it appears and the other, it doesn't. Uh, for example, if you wanted to say, you know, this, this equipment is broken and you, and you tap yes, it may have a field that appears saying, well, can you diagnose what the problem is or, or say what parts are required, something like that. So that's the mobile app. And now let me show you, I'm going to go ahead and close that down. Stop mirroring. There we go. And let's pop down here to Transform Central. This is the website piece of it. And we're going to do a demo of that as well. So let me just pop over into my browser, make that full screen. And so the website, when you log in, you're going to see a bunch of tabs up here at the top. The website's address is simply transform.alphasoftware.com. And again, you'll be prompted for a username and password to get in. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free 
30-day account, which will let you use all of the features for 30 days. After that, you'll need to enter in a license key, which you'll do right here in this Home tab. So you can click here and click License Keys. Here are my license keys. I'll show them to you. And you can actually take a look and see when they expire and all that. So that's how Transform knows that you're a legitimate user. But let me show you the cool features beyond the license keys, because that's kind of boring. Uh, one thing that you could do, for example, is you can get notifications whenever new forms have been assigned to you. So you could do that here in the Preferences section. I'm going to move this out of the way. And you can say, yes, please send me an SMS. And here's my phone number. You could say, send me an email. Uh, there's also a thing called a queue, which means that a form hasn't been assigned to you, but it's been placed in a queue where anyone can pick up the form. And because you're a member of the queue, it can alert you to the fact that there is a form waiting for you. All right, moving on, we have the ability, of course, to manage users. You can add people to your account and you can give them different roles. Let me click on that here and they should load. And so, for example, I'm Dave and I'm allowed to do everything that there is to do here. But this other person, why, well, yes, Dave is his name, uh, can only do things that trainees are allowed to do. Or this person can only use the management console but, but, and fill in forms, but they're not allowed, say, to use the dashboard. Uh, so there's different levels of permissions. And this can actually be very, very granular. So you can be very specific. You can, you can set it up so that only certain people can use certain forms um, under certain conditions. You know, and, uh, and I won't get into that now, but just, just know that that capability is there. Now, down here, this is the API stuff, and I said I wouldn't talk much about that, and I won't, but let me show you something else that you can do if you don't feel like writing your own API integrations. We have this thing called Zapier, which is a service that we have integrated with, and it has some built-in things that you can do without any programming at all, built-in integrations, that is. So, for example, when a new form is entered in Transform, you can actually have that data automatically entered into a line in Google Sheets. You can also have uh, information automatically sent by email or SMS when something happens. We have a connector here to Salesforce. We have one to uh, a Weber, which is a uh, mailing, uh, small business mailing provider. Uh, Postgres databases can be written directly to, and there are other things as well. And there are even more than we've listed here. For more information on that, you just go down here to the Transform integrations. There's actually thousands of things that you can do with Zapier. Next up, we have another cool feature called uh, Dispatch Forms. And what that lets you do is it lets you take a spreadsheet that has got lots of different form information on it and upload it into Transform and have it send out tickets to different users in the system for them to fill out and get back. So this is great if you do a lot of Excel work and you want to start moving that over into Transform. Now, the next thing I want to show off here are the designer, because I've been talking a lot about these forms, tickets, apps, and so on. But let's see how they're actually put together, because this is actually pretty cool. So I'm just going to click on the designer. Move this over here. And so when you want to build a new form type, we have this cool little technique. And I'll point you to the tutorial, which shows it in more depth, where Click the add a blank form, and we'll call this uh, test. And this form is simply called test. We have this cool thing called input quick start text. And this is described in the tutorial. And what it lets you do is it just lets you type in or paste in a bunch of fields. Like you could say first name, last name, email, um, age, whatever and have them turn automatically into fields over here on the right. And that's all it takes to build out really simple forms. When that's done, I'll go ahead and save those, you have the ability to fine tune these fields, uh, which you do here in the form command section. And then you can give them, you can say, I want it to span multiple lines. I want this to be a required field, or maybe this is going to be a calculated field. There's a lot of other uh, things that you could set up on these forms. There's a lot of other options. I just want to point that out to you real quick. And then just moving down the tabs, we also have management console. So once data has been collected into the system and you want to see it, you can go over to the management console just to take a look at the records. So here, is one of my foreign types. It's called the 5S audit form. And I have hundreds of these things that I submitted, I guess, in, in March. 
and I'm going to click on them. And you'll see for each one of them, I can see what they are. I can select all of them. I can export them, and I can export them into a variety of formats, including Excel, CSV, uh, plain text. Uh, we can do uh, PDFs, and there, there are some recording options as well. Um, I can also make changes to the data, and I can add new uh, form information here if I wanted to. All right, so that's one way to look at the data that's been collected, but another way to look at the data that's collected is using the dashboard system. So the dashboard system, which I clicked on here, takes the data in your transform account and it displays it in a dashboard interface. There's a default dashboard that comes with your account and it looks kind of like the one that's about to load here in a minute. There it is. And, it sh and this default one just tells me things about how many forms I've got in my database and stuff. Now I've done lots of other webinars before showing you how you can make really sophisticated uh, d dashboards using lots of controls, uh, bar graphs and charts and radar plots and, and even custom ones that you make up yourself. What's kind of neat about this is that it also has the ability to be interactive. So for example, I could add, I added these variables here that let me switch through different dates and show me all the different form submissions then. And then they were also interactive in the sense that, for example, let, let's say I was interested in these five records. So let's see, they were the inspection records here that occurred in January of 2021. I can click on that and it's going to take me over to a management console like view of that and show me the records that were entered so I can go take a look at them. Oops, made a mistake there. All right. So that is the gist of that. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you. It's a little bit advanced, but it's something that I think you should know about. And that is that the forms themselves are capable of being coded. So most of the time when you create a form, you probably won't have to do any coding behind it. But if you want to do some really advanced stuff, like do lookups into databases or connect to APIs and things like that, you're allowed to um, add custom code directly into your forms. And so, for example, when, when I enter in something into the first name field, I could have something happen. We've got a really complete programming language behind it with a debugger and all kinds of stuff. It's actually quite a joy to, to work with this. Uh, very, very simple language to pick up, kind of reminds me of basic. We have lots of examples on it as well. Typically, you don't write a lot of this stuff, but what's nice about it is it's there if you need it. If you need to do some really small little tweak that would make your application much better, you can use TPL to do it. And it's something that's just simply not built into other types of forms products. So let's go back and do a quick review, make sure that I've covered everything I wanted to. So let's back up here. So we went over Transform, what it is, who uses it, what the component parts are, the website and the mobile app, as well as the API, how to get the app and how to use it in demo mode, as well as how to uh, to create new forms and look at the data that's been collected. So that's really Transform in a nutshell. Um, do we have any questions today on that? I know a lot of people here are experienced. Oh, I see we've got one which came in. Does the mobile app work offline? Yes, the mobile app does in fact work offline. Uh, how that works is when you have signal, um, you can collect any data or forms that have been sent to you. And when you lose signal or just need to be in a place where there is no uh, Wi-Fi or internet connection. The, the app will work perfectly well offline. It will let you continue to collect data and do things like that. And then when you have cell signal again, it'll synchronize the data up to the Transform cloud. So I hope that for new people especially, this has been a helpful overview or introduction into Alpha Transform. For those of you who join us regularly, uh, take a look soon for an upcoming Transform Tuesday schedule and you'll get to see what our other topics are. In the meantime, you can suggest topics and always ask questions by sending them to tfservicealphasoftware.com. On behalf of our team here at Alpha Software, I would like to say thanks very much for joining our webinar today. I hope to see you at our next one. Take care and stay well. Bye-bye.